So I've been playing around with a bunch of different AI chatbots recently. And today we're gonna be playing around with, I think the AI bot of the moment right now. She's really the moment right now. I'm talking about a chat GPT. And now if you guys have never heard of this before, it's kind of wild. Let me show you some things this AI can do. Chat LGBT. Wait, it's chat GBT. No, it's GPT. It just, okay. <laughs> For a second I was like, wait, it's chat GBT? Where's the L? No, it's chat GPT. We're just gonna call it chat LGBT. So check this out, you guys. Basically, you can write a little prompt down here at the bottom, press enter, and this AI robot will just spit out tons of information depending on what you ask it. Let's try this, let's try this. Write an essay about the life of Jen McAllister. Look at this. It's writing me an essay right now. So basically how this works is it scans the internet for information and it collects it for you based on whatever prompt you give it. Although it is generally speaking newer. So it sometimes crawls the internet and picks up incorrect information. This is all correct, but what the, f Jen grew up in Pennsylvania with her parents, John and Christine McAllister and her younger brother, Patrick. Wh I would love to, <laughs> I would love to meet John, Christine and Patrick. I've never heard of those people. That's not my parents' names <laughs> and I don't have a brother, okay? But I did attend Council Rock High School South in Holland, Pennsylvania. I was not a member of the school's field hockey team. That's so funny, where did they get this? I did not play any sports in high school. <laughs> Wait, she began taking acting classes when she was just 10 years old? That's not true, that's not true either. Okay, but listen, a lot of this stuff is true because look at this. Jen created her YouTube channel in 2009, Gen X pen yes uh her first viral video my mirror i don't know about that one did anybody watch that video my mirror because i don't even know if i made that ever but this is all true my success on youtube opened up new opportunities for me i pursued acting roles i made a movie bad night with lauren elizabeth i wrote a book whatever you guys get the point. So I actually did a little prompt earlier and I asked chat GPT to write a script for Jen McAllister to perform on her Twitch stream. And it wrote me a script. <laughs> so should I read it? Should I perform? Should I give a live performance first time ever of my script? Okay. <clears throat> Opening scene. Hey everyone. Welcome to my Twitch stream. <laughs> Today, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to play a game but with a twist, instead of playing by myself, I'm gonna play with all of you. Wow. Wait, what? That's a crazy fucking twist. That's right, we're gonna play a game together. But before we start, I wanna give a shout out to all my subscribers and followers. Thank you so much for your support. Okay, I thought this was a little bit bizarre, okay? I'm not gonna finish this one because I was just like, I wasn't really thinking of a script where where we're playing a game because it's a little hard to perform that when we're not doing an actual game. So I decided to ask ask it something different. I decided to ask it to write a fan fiction about Jen McAllister. So this is what it spit out for me, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna read this for you guys. I'm gonna perform it. Once upon a time. <laughs> Wait, why is this starting like a fairy tale? Once upon a time, Jen McAllister was just an ordinary teenage girl from Pennsylvania who loved making videos and sharing them on the internet. Little did she know her passion for creating content would lead her to become one of the biggest YouTube stars of all time. <laughs> of all time is crazy. Jen had always been a creative person, but it wasn't until she discovered YouTube that she realized her true calling. She started making videos in her bedroom, talking about everything from fashion and beauty to school and relationships. At first, her videos didn't get much attention, but Jen didn't let that discourage her. She kept working hard and improving her content. And eventually, people started to take notice. This is not a fanfic. This is a children's book about achieving your dreams. Honestly, yeah, it is not, it's not like a fairy tale, but, and also all the information so far, like it is accurate. Like I am from Pennsylvania. I like making videos. Then I got a bunch of followers and I wrote a book and like, it's not really fiction, especially this part that says 
one of the biggest YouTube stars of all time. Like, this is all just real factual information. I'm gonna have it write me a new fan fiction, but this time I want it to be, I don't know, better. Oh my God, it's doing it. <gasps> okay, I have a love interest in this one. Here we go, you guys. <clears throat> Get ready for the performance of a lifetime. Jen McAllister, better known as Jen X Pan, was on top of the world. She had millions of fans, a successful YouTube channel, and even a budding acting career. But despite all of her success, there was one thing missing in her life, love. One day, <laughs> Jen was out shopping when she bumped into a handsome stranger. He was tall, with dark hair, and piercing blue eyes. Wow, people with blue eyes be like, Jen couldn't help but feel a flutter in her stomach as they exchanged awkward apologies. Hey, sorry about that, the stranger said with a smile. It's okay, Jen replied, feeling her cheeks flush. The stranger introduced himself as Tyler and they quickly struck up a conversation. They talked about everything from music to movies to their favorite foods. Jen couldn't believe how easy it was to talk to Tyler. He was funny, charming, and incredibly cute. As they walked around the mall, Tyler suggested they go on a little adventure. Ooh, I love someone who's adventurous. How exciting is this? Jen was intrigued and followed him as he led her to a nearby ice skating rink. She had never been ice skating before, but Tyler assured her he was an expert. Okay. This could be bad. Jen laced up her skates and took a few tentative steps onto the ice. Tyler was right by her side, guiding her along. They laughed and joked as they skated around the rink. Jen couldn't believe how much fun she was having. As they skated, Tyler suddenly stopped and took Jen's hand. Jen, I know we just met, but I feel like there's something special between us. Would you want to go out with me? Holy shit. I feel like we just met like a... 20 minutes ago, Jen's heart skipped a beat. She couldn't believe that this perfect stranger had just asked her out. There was something about Tyler that made her feel like she had known him her whole life. Absolutely, she said with a smile. And just like that, Jen and Tyler were a couple. They went on all sorts of adventures together, from hiking in the mountains to exploring new cities. Okay, I'm not going hiking in the mountains with anyone, I'm sorry. They even made a silly music video together that went viral on YouTube. Jen couldn't believe how lucky she was to have found someone like Tyler. He was everything she had ever wanted in a partner, kind, funny, and romantic. One day, Tyler surprised Jen with a special gift. He had written a song just for her and he wanted to perform it for her on stage at one of her concerts. At one of my concerts? What concerts am I doing? Am I, am I a musician in this story? JM1 coming soon? Jen was touched beyond words as Tyler sang his heart out in front of thousands of screaming fans. As the song came to an end, Tyler got down on one knee and pulled out a ring. I love you more than anything in this world. Will you marry me? Tears streamed down Jen's face as she said yes. The crowd erupted in cheers as Tyler slipped the ring onto her finger. And so, Jen and Tyler lived happily ever after. They continued to make silly videos, go on crazy adventures, and love each other more and more each day. Jen knew that she had found her soulmate in Tyler and she couldn't imagine spending her life with anyone else. Wow. Does this not sound like the fanfiction that me and Ricky just read at the 100k party? Write a script for a YouTube apology video. <laughs> Good news, creators. Good news. You can get your script for your apology video from chat GPT. You can get it here, you guys. Check this out. And it's breaking it down. It's breaking it down. Look at this. Holy sh! it's giving introduction, acknowledge the issue, explain the situation, ownership, apologize, plan of action, closing. Here we go, you guys. I'm gonna perform it. Hi everyone, it's Jen here. And I wanted to take a moment to address something that I've been meaning to talk about for a while. As many of you know, I recently insert the reason for the apology here, such as made a controversial statement or acted inappropriately. And I wanna start by saying, I am truly sorry. I cannot get over how organized this is. Like the fact that it's broken down into sections is like so crazy. It's like actually sending me to space. All right, now we need to acknowledge the issue. I know what I did was wrong and I take full responsibility for my actions. I understand that my words and behavior have hurt some of you. 
and for that I am deeply sorry. It was never my intention to cause any harm, but I recognize that the impact of my actions is what matters most. Now I have to explain the situation. I'd like to take a moment to explain what happened and give some context to the situation. Insert your explanation here, making sure to be honest and transparent about what occurred. Once again, I wanna emphasize that I'm taking full responsibility for my actions. I understand that I have, wait, this is, this is all missing something. There's something that this is missing. Again, I want to emphasize that I'm taking full responsibility for my actions. I understand that I have a platform and an audience, and with that comes a certain level of accountability. I want to make it clear that I'm committed to doing better moving forward. And that starts with owning up to my mistakes and learning from them. To anyone who is hurt or offended by my words or actions, I want to offer a sincere apology. I understand I have a lot of work to do to regain your trust, and I am committed to doing so. Holy sh**, the music's- The music just got so loud! We're really getting into it. We're in the apologize section, so we're really getting into it. Please know that I'm truly sorry for any pain that I have caused. Moving forward, I want to be transparent about my plans to improve. Insert your plan of action here, such as seeking out education on the topic or seeking feedback from a diverse group of indi individuals. I want to thank you all for taking the time to listen to me today. I know that I have a lot of work to do, but I am committed to making things right. I appreciate your support and understanding, and I look forward to moving forward together. The timing of that was crazy! Why did that, <laughs> Why did that just end as soon as I was done? Wow. I actually think some people could take some notes from this, actually. Like, actually, in all seriousness, I know I'm like always around but in all seriousness i feel like this is like good steps for a, an appropriate apology like acknowledging the issue explain the situation maybe i don't know like maybe if you have to but like acknowledging the issue taking ownership apologizing plan of action like there we go you guys write song lyrics for a song performed by jen McAllister. I would just love to see what it's gonna spit out for this because I'm obviously not a musical artist, so I don't know like what, what kind of song it's gonna make for me. What? What is this? I'm feeling lost in the dark trying to find my way back to the start? I'll rise above the noise and find my voice? Oh my God, what am I writing about? I'm learning to be brave and face my fears, not run away. I'm finding strength in every day. I wish I had like a beat or something to sing this over. Hello? Oh. Hello? Wait. Hello? Rewrite this, but make it less depressing. It's still really similar. I'm on a journey to find my way. To reach my dreams day by day. Wait, I'm doing like, should I do slam poetry? Cause I don't even know like what melody I should do for this. I'm on a journey to find my way, to reach my dreams day by day. I know it's not an easy road, but I'll keep moving. I won't lose hope. When things get tough, I'll rise above and I'll keep on pushing with love. I'll stay strong and carry on and I'll sing my heart out in this song. I'll break through the noise and find my voice. I'll spread my wings and soar. I'll never look back anymore. I'm learning to be courageous and face my fears, not be anxious. I'm finding strength in every step and I know I'll make it to my success. Let's see if it can come up with some new stream ideas for me, okay? I wonder if I can use it to brainstorm ideas. Come up with a bunch of ideas for uh, Jen McAllister streams on Twitch. I'm gonna be more specific, okay? Because I want some specific ideas. Make them creative, funny, and make sure the ideas are specific, okay? I don't want it to pop out like, you could do a q and A. I want it to like give me some specific ideas. So let's see what comes up. It's just literally gonna say, play a video game. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't, let's see. 
Oh, oh my God, spitting out some ideas for real, for real. Let's see. We've got Cooking with Jen, a cooking show, which I kind of already do. So Crafting with Jen, a crafting show where Jen demonstrates how to create fun and unique DIY projects. My God, should I enter my craft era? Movie Night with Jen, weekly movie night where Jen and her viewers watch and discuss their favorite films. Book Club. Wait, a book club could actually be a fun idea on, on Twitch. Look, I knew it. Game Night with Jen, a gaming show where Jen plays her favorite video games. Ask Jen anything, a and a <laughs> It literally did spit those ideas out. Fitness with Jen. A fitness show where Jen shares her workout routines and tips for saying, damn, should I stream from the gym, you guys? Jen's travel diary. Jen shares her adventures from around the world. Jen's comedy hour. Stop. I'm going to start doing Jen's comedy hour, you guys. A comedy show where Jen shares her funniest stories and jokes and invites other comedians and performers as guests. Dead as imagine if I was doing stand-up on Twitch. All right, well, it gave me 10 ideas, which is a lot, but I'm not gonna lie, most of these are pretty, they're pretty basic. Could you come up with less basic ideas? Things that other people have never done before that are revolutionary to the Twitch live streaming space. Let's see. Ooh, okay, it said that's popping out some more unique ideas. Okay, let it, let's let it cook, let's let it cook. These are definitely less basic. I don't know if they're revolutionary, but they're, they're less basic. Jen's virtual reality adventure, a show where Jen uses virtual reality technology to immerse herself and viewers in different worlds. Jen's ASMR experience, a show where Jen creates unique ASMR experiences for viewers, such as whispering stories, tapping on objects, or creating soothing sounds. Y'all would I hate that. Jen's collaborative art project. A show where Jen collaborates with artists from around the world to create a unique piece of art live on stream. Viewers could also contribute their own art to the project. That's actually kind of cool. Why am I, con Jen's virtual concert series? Why am I performing all the time? Jen's science experiment show. I'm actually dead ass down for that. A show where Jen performs unique and exciting science experiments live on stream. Wait, I love science experiments. Wait, science on stream actually would be so fun. I'm not gonna lie. Like, did I just get an idea for a stream from AI for real? Jen's creative writing workshop. A show where Jen leads a creative writing workshop for viewers, teaching them different writing techniques and encouraging them to share their own work. That like I'm an English teacher. I'm gonna be a science teacher and an English teacher live on stream. Jen's cosplay challenge. A show where Jen challenges viewers to create unique cosplay costumes. Stop, we're doing that. Jen's interactive storytelling adventure. A show where Jen and viewers create a unique storytelling experience with viewers suggesting plot twists and decisions. This Wow, it's like we're all gonna be building a fan fiction together. Write a tweet for Jen McAllister to post on Twitter. Just finished filming a new vlog for my YouTube channel and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Who else loves creating and sharing content? Hashtag YouTube, hashtag vlogger, hashtag content creator. Holy sh this is actually amazing. This is camp, actually. Like, I might actually tweet this. Oh, guys, do you think people will be upset because I didn't create a new vlog for my YouTube channel, like, since I don't post on there right now? I look, someone just said in the chat, you definitely can't tweet that. Everyone will be mad that there's no vlog. Write another, but don't say that I just filmed a new vlog. Holy shit. It's not, it's fucking Friday. Hey, everyone, happy Monday. Remember to take some time for yourself today and do something that makes you happy. Whether it's reading a book, taking a walk, or just enjoying some peace and quiet, make sure to prioritize self-care. Hashtag self-care. Hashtag Monday motivation. That's, <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, there, I did social media for the day. Oh, social media is so hard to do. So I'm so glad I got this tweet out and I did my job for today. Whew, thank God. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did creating it for you. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this.
Also, make sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new upload from me. And as always, I love hearing from you in the comments. So feel free to leave me your thoughts and feedback. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, YouTube.